Hey everyone, it's a new day. So I'm gonna be making a palm of heart pasta bake and I'm just gonna show you guys the process and steps for that. Okay, I'm gonna use a box of the Trader Joe's Hearts of Palm Pasta. It comes in a bag like this. I don't, it depends on how I feel, but I'm not gonna drain it today. I'm just gonna put it in salted, boiling water, and then I'm just gonna mix it with some garlic powder. And then I'm also gonna be cutting up an onion and sauteing that. Okay, I'm gonna saute the onions and season it with some granulated garlic, black pepper, Italian seasoning, Himalayan pink salt, and a little bit of cayenne. The palm of heart is boiling away, overflowing. So there's that time that overflows then. Yeah, I'm just gonna saute this um, until it's good brown, and then I'm gonna add a half a pound of ground turkey. Okay, while the onions are sauteing, I'm going to use half of an uh, egg to mix with the ricotta. So I'm just going to mix this up first and then I'll add it to the ricotta and two, bless me, <laughs> and add some uh, mozzarella as well. The okay, onions are looking brown and I'm just going to add, this is half a pound of 85% ground turkey. So I used the other half for another recipe, so I'm going to just put this half in the onion mixture. I accidentally added so much black pepper by mistake. So it's a little bit peppery, but that's okay. That's uh, seasoning, it's flavor. All right, this is looking good. So I'm gonna add a whole bottle of the pasta sauce. Last time I used half, but I had to add more when I was eating it. So I figured let me add the whole bottle this time because I like it saucy. So I'm going to add a whole pan bottle <laughs> of the pasta sauce. And I'm using the Barilla Parmesan and pe Pecorino and I think it's 60 calories per half a cup. Yeah, per half a cup. So I'm just going to use the whole pan or bottle how it's called, <laughs> of this and then I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 or so minutes. Okay, and while everything is simmering, I'm going to use uh, a quarter of the container of the Heart skin ricotta, ricotta, ricotta <laughs> cheese, and I weighed it out. So it's about 232 grams. This is half, um, I guess half an ounce. Yeah, half an ounce of mozzarella, and I'm just using part skin, 80 calories per serving. So one ace. So it's um 40 calories and then I used half of the egg just because I don't want to use a full egg because it's not a lot of ricotta and last time I added a full egg and I doubled the ricotta so I don't want to add a full egg for a small amount so I'm going to mix this together I'm going to add some Italian seasoning as well and then once everything is done I'm going to show you guys the layering process and I'm using this is 8 by 8 I think 8 by 8 or 9 by 9 and I'm using that and yeah I'll show you guys how I'm going to uh, layer it Okay, right, I'm gonna put the pasta into the sauce mixture. Sorry if it's not boiling, but this is all done. I added some granulated garlic to that to add more seasoning. That's so pretty much done. I'm now kind of worried <laughs> about mixing it um, because it's bubbling. So I'm gonna put my food phone down, but you'll see the final product. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix everything together, and I'm gonna let it rest for about five or so minutes just so everything is incorporated so the hearts of palm can get all the flavor get infused with the meat sauce and yeah but it looks pretty good looks pretty good as is i mean you can just have this alone but i'm gonna you know turn it up a notch it's a little bit cold. I mean, it's not completely, you can still see the steam coming out, but I just want to show what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be doing first a layer of the hearts of palm meat sauce uh, first, and then I'm going to do the ricotta mi mixture, put the final layer, and then I'm just going to top it with cheese. And I didn't go over the servings. So you could either have this as three servings or four servings. For three servings, it's 467 calories. For four servings, it's 350. That all depends, though, on what ingredients. 
So I'm making it three servings because it's, this is just gonna be my dinner and it's, you know, 467 calories for only three servings. So I'm just gonna do that, but you can either split it up however you want, but it's a pretty low cal option. The carbs, I think, for three servings is about 20 net carbs. So it's, it's not like keto or anything, but it works for me. So I'm just gonna layer it and I'll show you guys the, how it looks once I finish layering everything up. All right, so everything is layered together. You can see the first layer and then the um, ricotta and then the final layer. So yeah, it goes heavy on the bottom first. Uh, I'm actually gonna make this into four servings just because of how dense it is. So that's 350 calories for only four servings. I was thinking of trying to add Parmesan on top. I wish I bought some Parmesan but it's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then it'll be all done. Final product. You yeah, guys, it looks like a regular pasta bake. Like if you were, if you're using like ziti or something, it looks like um, a ziti bake. It looks delicious. I'm very excited to try it uh, and obviously I'm gonna you know document myself trying it but yeah 350 calories per serving for servings very deep layer dish so I'm very excited to have this for dinner and I'll let you guys know how it tastes all right so this is a piece it's been refrigerated so that's why the cheese is not melted but it's 336 grams and 350 calories per one fourth of a serving. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna like mash this around in a sense, just to coat the plate because I want it to evenly heat up and I don't like when there's cold spots in my food. So I'm just gonna mash this and then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to it. It's just a grated Parmesan and I'll try it. But if you guys see, it's gonna be different because I'm gonna just mash it around the plate just to make it, uh, heat up uh, evenly so yeah it looks so unappetizing but it's food <laughs> so i'm gonna put this in the microwave and i'll let you guys i'll do a live taste test to tell you guys how it tastes <laughs> it looks like spaghetti in a sense but that's weird me the parmesan i'm using so i'm using t uh, four teaspoons so 40 calories but good stuff a okay, final product with the Parmesan cheese on top and time for the taste test. Don't mind the bonnet. I just got back from a walk. So yeah, so here's the uh, fork, forkful. <laughs> I was going to say spoonful, but it's, you know, a fork. So hopefully it's not too hot. This is pretty good. Uh, bussin, as the kids call it. I'm gonna delete that. But yeah, it's really good. I like it. It's flavorful, has the perfect amount of seasoning, a little spice to it. I did add some um, cayenne pepper to it. Uh, a little bit too much cayenne pepper, but it, for me, it's not that bad. But for someone else that might not think it's spicy, it's, it has a little kick to it. But it's pretty good. It's something I'll probably be making in the future. Four servings, 350 calories, plus the 40 calories for the Parmesan, 390 calories for a pretty filling dinner. It has the meat, cheese, the palm of hearts. So yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Uh, I will also post the recipe below of what I did and the process for it. But I like it. I think it's a, it's a pretty tasty meal and it doesn't seem that uh, low cal. You know, maybe people will be like, what's, what is this? This is not pasta but for the most part, it's pretty good. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to end this video. I weighed in at 276.8 pounds, so I lost 0 0.8 pounds uh, within the past week. Not too worried, a loss is a loss, progress is progress, one day at a time, all that stuff. <laughs> good uh, uh, affirmations to live by. Um, when you're on a weight loss journey because not every weigh in is going to be what you imagine or what you assume and whatnot. So, you know, progress to progress. I know what I'm doing, keeping it minimal and basic and not trying to jazz. I'm just 
you know, doing what needs to be done. Last week was kind of like mentally pretty exhausting and draining and just sad. Just because like my job right now, I don't like. It's a full-time job. I'm doing it just because it covers grad school tuition and just given some circumstances i can't really leave that job until may of next year and i just what i'm doing for work it's not what i really had in mind doing full time and if i could go back i would not have accepted this job because i don't like doing what i'm currently doing and I wish I knew more back then instead of, um, instead of like just accepting the job because I wanted my tuition coverage covered before fall semester started. But you know, I got like reprimanded at work because of my metrics and whatnot. And I was really upset because I don't like confrontation and I don't like confrontational stuff like that. And I do try to be a good employee, but with like working from home and all this stuff I just I'm not I know I'm not putting in my best effort I know that but at the same time it's like I have it's a hard I don't even know how to explain it but it just feels like I have no drive to even still work at this job and I don't know it's like at the back of my mind I'm like thinking uh, I kind of just hope that they fire me which is bad I don't want to get fired but I just really do not like this job and it's mentally exhausting and I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to last it out a year, but even now, like, I don't even know how I could last a year. But that's like, you know, a whole unrelated situation. I just was dealing with that, but I didn't turn towards food. Thankfully, I, I would have if I wasn't on this weight loss journey. I also find it have braces, but even then, if I wasn't on this weight loss journey, I probably would have, you know, pigged out on baked goods and stuff like that just to comfort me, even though I, like, know that's not going to really result in anything but just weight gain. But I didn't, you know, I kind of just went on a walk, I listened to good music, and just try to put my mind at a better place. But yeah, there's some progress there, some non-scale victories that I'm in a better place mentally when I'm um, faced with you know, tough situations or mentally dealing with a situation. So yeah, I'm really happy about that, but uh, I'll see you guys next week and yeah, bye.